the Chain by Fleetwood Mac. In this video, I'm showing you how we can play this in standard tuning with no capo, basic open chords, and we're gonna be learning this full song. We're gonna be adding a little bit of the riffs as well, but we're going for a simplified version here, and I hope all of you have a go at playing along to this classic song. It really is something special. So the chord I would encourage you to learn first is the E5 power chord, but with all six strings strummed, muting string three. It's not a minor chord, it's not a major chord. This needs to be an ambiguous chord. It needs to be the power chord version, but we want them all ringing out. I choose to do that, and again, we're doing our own little version here to make this hopefully simple, but it's still not easy. I do that with my first finger like this, exactly like I do with an A power chord. And it's with a kind of bending that first finger just like this. We're actually holding down string four and string five, but we're muting string three, importantly. So this would be our normal power chord, which you can do if this is too much trouble for you. That would be the chord that I would be going for for the start of this song. And we can do a lot of the riffs. We can do a lot of that with this. It's not how it's played on the original, but it is, it's a one finger version. Come on, it's, it's definitely worth it. In the verses, it then moves to an A power chord, G major, D major, and the other chord we have in this song is an A minor chord. So we got E5, A5, both with all the strings ringing out, G major, D major, and A minor to play this whole song. I think that's really worth your time learning because pretty simple chords and techniques, fantastic song. The verse goes like this. Listen to the wind blow, watch the sun. Running in the shadows, damn you love, damn you lies. Then we're to the chorus, and if you don't love me now, you'll never love me again. So this goes E minor, C, and then D. My recommended strumming pattern for the verses is down, down, up, up, down, but we pause after, so down, down, up, up, down. Down, down, up, down. Down, down, up, up, down, 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 up, up, down, 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 up, down. Listen to the wind blow. Watch the sun rise. The old favorite, but repurposed. Sounds really cool. Chorus now. We have uh, some other chords here basic open chords, but we have A minor, E minor, C major, D major. And if you don't love me now, you will never love me again. E minor, C major, and D major. Now that was just with playing on the beat. If I were doing this, I'd be doing that palm muted. Kind of like that. You don't love me now. You were one and two and three and four. E minor. What's that? Down, down, down. You know, one, two, and three, four, and one, two, and three, four. If you don't love me now, you will never love me again.
Those melody notes are played with the third finger there, and I'm also hitting that finger. But if you want to add those, you're better off watching another tutorial showing showing it with kind of capo second fret. It's a different version, you know. You know, we're doing a simplified version, so we're using open chords. That gets us through the whole song until the ending. The ending is absolutely classic. This is the Formula One theme tune, or was for so many years, at least in the UK. And it goes like this. It's also the theme tune to the chain section of Radcliffe and McConey. Shout out to anyone who listens to that in the UK. It's a really cool radio show. So this is a bass line, but the thickest four strings of any guitar are tuned to the same notes as a bass guitar, or a bass guitar is tuned to the, the same notes as, as the guitar. So it's exactly the same. The dots are in the same place, the fret number, every, all the notes are the same. It is an octave lower. But if you can play this on guitar, you can play it on bass as well, which is really fun. It feels really weird because it's really big, but we have the open A string, which on guitar is string five. We pick that. Pick it again, 2nd fret, 3rd fret, 2nd fret, and back. So there we picked open, and then went ahead, and then back on ourselves. Fret 2, fret 3. Make sure you've got that first. It's then 3rd fret. G note, so thickest string, string six, and then back on ourselves. String six again, open, it's the open E. Last four notes. When we speed it up, I just recommend doing alternate picking, which if you haven't tried it yet, it's really cool with this one because no matter what note happens next, we're just gonna play using a down and then an up pick alternately, no matter what the rhythm is. And it's a this is a perfect opportunity to go for this, okay? So down, and it's always gonna be down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, no matter what the notes are. And then of course we have this amazing lead part, which is kind of one note most of the time, but it's... Sounds absolutely great. This is the fifth fret of string two. Occasionally picking and letting the thinnest string ring out, a uh, string one, and playing them together as he gets louder. But it starts off very quiet. Just like that. That slides all the way up to 17th fret, which I only just have enough frets for on this guitar. And I certainly can't do it with my thumb around the back. I wouldn't be able to reach that note, so I'm gonna have thumb out, out front. And then it... That first finger goes down at the 15th fret. So middle finger's always down. Really fun, and then we've got kind of this uh, this bend, which I just can't, it's a whole step bend. And we're just not gonna get up there on acoustic guitar, not on this one anyway, I might be able to one another, but yeah, that's the gist. That's how we can play The Chain by Fleetwood Mac in standard tuning. I'll leave some other Fleetwood Mac tutorials on the screen now. Hope you enjoyed those and I'll see you next time.